Hey everybody, thank you for tuning in this week. <laughs> it's Mecca and welcome to the Coffee Comments. It's me and Ryan here. Hello. Uh, tonight we're going to talk about the women empowerment movement. Now, I wanted to talk about this topic because I feel like it's a lot of women empowerment and feminist and feminism type of uh, Songs out, commercials, and most of all, me being in a blogger in PR is a lot of events going on. A lot of women are just putting together branding events, but it's a women empowerment branding and a uh, women empowerment marketing and networking type of situation. And um, it's a lot of brunches and seminars by, you know, some of them are powerful women. Some of them are small business owners. Um, we have people like Karen Civil, she's had one, uh, Miss Diddy LA, uh, the biggest party promoter and PR and brander <laughs> ever in LA. She has a lot of them. Uh, Drea Michelle from Basketball Wife, she's had a few. And I just want to talk about, you know, what is really women empowerment? Um, how are these events, are they being effective? Like, the, people are having so many, but are they working? Is it really uniting us? Is it really, um, you know, having us come together and really embrace each other? Because that's what the women empowerment is supposed to do. It's supposed to embrace um, us women and not only women of color, but women, period. So, yeah. Um, how was your weekend, Ryan? My weekend was great. Um, I worked and... Today, <laughs> went on a hiking trail at uh, Panthers Creek Trail. And, yeah, I'm just getting literally in from that. But before, you know, we go into all the woman empowerment talk, I just want to say, you know, RIP to Muhammad Ali, greatest, you know, boxer. Rest in peace. You know, <laughs> rest in peace. So, want to get that out. <laughs> so, um... Women empowerment. Okay. So, <laughs> from my experience, when I see that, you know, I'm thinking it's a great thing to attend. You know, me being young and African American and wanting to be a part of something that is positive. Because nowadays, 2016, you <laughs> can be famous or well known for being an Instagram model or an Insta thought. <laughs> and, a model or, or um or you know one of those uh yeah instagram models facebook models any facebook, social media, any social media wow. or a reality star that's what i wanted to say you are known for being a reality star and most of the times those things aren't positive if you look at shows like tia and tamara's show um that was on and you look at, I mean, even Braxton Family Values, I feel like that's a positive show. Even though they do argue and bicker, it's family. So who doesn't? But you have shows, I mean, these are my guilty pleasures. Sometimes I'm, you know, a little uh, <laughs> embarrassed to say that I like these shows sometimes. But I'm not. I'm <laughs> watching. <a> Riley <laughs> show, uh, show Junkie. So watching, you know, basketball wise and things like um, Love and Hip Hop and Black Ink and things like that, they don't show. African American black people, they don't show us in a positive light. And now I'm starting to see that there is a mix. They starting to put, you know, Hispanics, they're starting to put the Puerto Ricans, Dominicans and stuff on the map, but they're not being showed in a positive light either. They're fighting over men, they're cursing each out each other out. They're inviting each other to these events and when they get to the person events, they're fighting them. Like, um, that's what today's day and age is. And so me being young and attending these events, I'm I'm thinking, you know, no problem. It's going to be something very uh, informative. It's going to be something that's going to help me. I'm going to network. I'm going to meet friends because anybody who know me, I always, <laughs> I always get a little annoyed. And I'm always talking about how I want to meet like-minded people because it's hard to find like-minded people. I mean, you have your some of your old friends and you have some of your family members that's always supporting you. But somebody like me, when I talk about blogging, people don't really understand what it is. When I talk about PR slash public relations and branding and stuff, people don't really know what that is. They're just like, oh, that's nice. And all they know me for is fashion, but they don't really know 
it's a lot. If you ever watch the movie The Intern or Devil Wears Prada, that's legit. Like I it's 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 more Prada. than just clothes. And people think the only side to fashion is to design the clothes, and that's not true. Um, so when I go to these events. I'm standing around and I go find my seat and whether it's a seminar or a brunch or a cocktail event, networking event, I'm looking to make friends and I'll talk to some people and you still see clicks. You still see, you know, the, the, the girl that thinks she's the Beyonce in the room and she got her friends or she got some other people that she think is pretty with her and they, they're standoffish. They don't talk and it's like, oh wow, I thought we were supposed to be here to em- embrace one another. <laughs> And, um, that has me really questioning, is this movement a real thing or is it something to put on your resume? Is it something just to make you look good and be like, Hey, you know, I'm doing this for my people. And then later on, you still talking about the next chick in the room. Uh, do you have any experience that you, um, my views on this woman's empowerment, because I actually did like, uh, you know, Google our friend and was looking at, you know, how this whole movement started and pretty much it was started with women trying to be, I guess, equal with men and coming together that way, which was in a positive light. But now it has flipped into a trend. So when you have these things of women empowerment and, you know, all these little gatherings, sometimes, like Mecca was saying, they are very, you know, informative, very, you know, give you that confidence, that inspiration for you to go out and, you know, achieve these goals and dreams that you want to have for yourself. But then on the flip side, there's these just... Like she was saying, very clickish. You get there, and these so called women that right. are supposed to be empowering me, they're like talking and, you know, belittling and everything like that. And they're like, and it's clicks. not necessarily the person that's throwing it, it's the attendees. And I'm not saying that there has to be a certain type of female because to I, I don't care if you the most the hoodest girl and you put on your heels and your you know your cutest outfit and you beat your face and put some nice you know we in your hair and you show up because that shows that you're trying to better yourself but don't go there and you're still belittling the next person we're supposed to be there to you know brand and network and make friends with each other and like Ryan said I feel like sometimes it's just it's the opposite. It's not genuine enough. Yeah, it's it's a lot of like when I go to these things or if I ever you know hear about these things, I, literally I have to give it the side eye because I don't know if it's going to be something that's going to be a positive or negative thing. And honestly, right now the way it's going, um, like I said, it's very trendy. So I, it's just <laughs> it's just an excuse for you to get real cute. Maybe on a Saturday or Sunday, go to that rooftop and 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 have cocktails. A lot of them, especially the ones that are hosted by these celebrities, they're just going to, you know, say that I went to the event just because of that celebrity. Right. I went because Drea Drea had this event and I went. And at the time is when I just started my blog. I remember she had one in LA and she wrote a post. I'm not, you know. Right now, I'm a little person, so I'm not going to bash Jaya, but I'm just saying, if you're going to hold these events, um, I'm not going to say she wasn't humble about it, but keep up, because there's really people out here that's learn trying to learn how to expand their brand, hell, even build a brand, and I remember I was living in LA, and I was just started like my little online boutique, anybody that knew that I had Macchiato Boutique online and I just started my blog and I tried to attend her event and none of her people responded but when I went to go look at her event on Instagram the day that it happened it was a lot of people that quote-unquote knew people it's a lot of people that was you know friends of a friends and already kind of in the industry and it's just like you can't hold these events for the people you want to hold them for because there's a lot of people out here that's willing, you know, they want to learn. They want to come out and, like I said, build their brand and better themselves. And like Ryan said, a lot of these people do it just because they have the name. <laughs> they want to attach their name to something. So um, thus far, I've already posted on our Facebook page. If you want to 
comment, leave comments or questions that you have anything you want to say and we'll read them out. Um, just hit us right now on Facebook on the Glitter Coffee and Things page, our personal Facebooks, uh, Slimly. That is right. And Mecca Morris. And shoot, even if you have our personal phone numbers, <laughs> Drop a text, text. Us, text us some comments or some questions or any input that you have. Um... Let's talk about the word feminism and feminist. I actually got the definition of this word written down, and I'm going to read it out loud because, once again, with the social media. Webster (laughs) says, what, Mecca? Webster says, feminism (laughs) is women's rights on the grounds of political, social, and economic equality to men. Now. Which is what I said. That has nothing to do with you being naked on social media. That's not equal to a man. Although there are men. I'm not going to throw any names out there. The game, why do we always have to see eggplant? Was it eggplant? I get it. I I get it right. I I get get the whole, if a man can do it, I can do it. But sometimes. But we're not looked in the same way. We're looked at Miss Prim and Proper. We're not supposed to have our ass plastered on (laughs) the the Instagram or the Facebook. We're just, supposed I'm to be a lady of, in the streets and a freak in the sheets. I'm just, right, I'm just tired of, once again, no shade, Kim Kardashian. Shade. I have friends, <laughs> I have friends that really like and truly adore this woman, okay? Go to everything that she has, eats at the places she eats, get all of the Kardashian collection, and I'm not hating because we have Beyonce stands, you know, the Beehive. You have me who like the Navy, Rihanna. You have people that like certain things, but certain things just go too far. Now, you can't keep being naked, pregnant or not pregnant, and then say, I'm a feminist. I'm standing up for what's right. First of all, who said being naked? <laughs> who said being naked? You know, equals feminism. Nobody. I, I, that's not what it means. That's and not people are Google. really using it wrong. They really are. Um, I don't know. I commend Amber Rose for some of the things she's going to do, but we're not going to talk about that because that gets really heated between us. <laughs> it gets really heated and it gets really heated between me and other people. <laughs> Not just Ryan, because I have a different outlook. I actually follow somebody. I don't discredit their work. I don't, I don't, I don't, let's, let's get that corrected. I don't discredit the work that the Kim, that Kim Kardashian does. I don't discredit what Amber Rose does. What I have a problem with is like you were saying, they're going to plaster their ass on Instagram or whatever and then they're like oh women empowerment oh you know you're a woman you can express yourself this way this way but okay you are two intelligent women I'm to guess shade no shade but why do you have to be naked it's like you don't have to be naked and I don't want that type of representation from me as as a woman I'm like that's not who I want to be like, girl, yeah, Kim Kardashian, that's that's my role model. I just cannot look at her as my role model. I so can't. do you think it's the same with what Amber Rose is trying to say? This is why I stand with Amber Rose. Because I've grew up with a lot of uh, people, you know, a lot of females. And we would just want to go out and look cute. Or even in college, go out and put our little cute freaking dress on and go out and have a good time. Whether we dress to the nines going to dinner or dress to the nines going to the club. And people say, oh, well, you dress with that short dress on, then you a hoe. And that's basically what Amber Rose is saying. I can dress certain ways and I can be cute. And if I don't want to have sex with you, I don't have to have sex with you. If you're trying to touch me, I'm, I have the right to say no. Just because I dress this way doesn't mean that I'm that way Period. I could be a, I can dress like this going out and I could be home in my sweats with my glasses on and my hair tied up all the time. I mean that's very true. But let's 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 be real. Men and other women and women damn near judge you harder than other men. But you know that you cannot walk around like that and you say yes. Look at me in my dress, bodycon dress, up to my coochie. Yes, I am a PhD. Look at me. I am, you know, 
I'm not going to, you know, bend over and clap my ass for you, or I'm not going to take you back to the hotel. If I saw somebody like the hell, I'm a woman, and I'll be looking, I'll be like, oh, okay, okay. What you want me to think? I mean, I mean, that's I don't the know. It's just a lot it. of double standards. Like I oh, know, definitely. I know it's always double standards, and I know it's a lot of um, situations where like. There's lawyers and doctors that smoke weed, but do you think they're dumb because they smoke weed? No, I don't think they're dumb, but they also don't be, do it in public where people will see these type of things. You know, it, it's like, I'm not saying that you shouldn't, if you you want to express yourself as far as showing off your body, there's there's ways, tasteful ways that you can do it. Isn't that tasteful about me seeing the the whole front of your body on the front of the magazine, and you trying to tell me that it's art. Shade no shade, Kim. But, and then Amber in bathing suits, they didn't even a bathing suit, it's like dental floss, you know, front and back. And again, it's like, what you want me to expect from you? What do you want? How do you want me to say? You want me to say, girl, I know you sitting there with your twat all out. But I respect you. I'm sorry. I'm a girl. And I'd be like, Sh- I want to take you back to the room too. Shoot. We can get this popping. Because you just seem like the good front, the good fun girl. Yeah, I guess. I mean, <laughs> but I mean, like I said, you know, just, you know, run back to our whole topic of women empowerment. It's just that. You know, that was more so like feminism because mm-hmm. I read an article the other day um, on Refinery29. I love that website. Um. A lot of people are just using it the wrong way. And, like, I I love I love these celebrities, you know, but I feel like some people are just doing too much and using it the wrong way. Um, they're doing too much just to build a brand. That is very true. I honestly wish, and, and I know there are, um, like, uh, women empowerment Things that go on that are actually very positive. I just wish yes. there were like the brunch I mentioned. <laughs> yeah, I wish week. there were more, and it, it catered more to our our younger girls, opposed to women that are in their twenties and thirties. I mean, I understand we're you know that helps them as the far millennials. as millennials. Yeah, that's I mean, what they call them now <laughs> um, the millennials. The millennials. I love that. That's kind of. That's, kind of sexy like that but um i know you know you need the the 20s and the 30s we need our inspiration and you know people like that but i wish there were more that cater to like going to the schools to help you know talk to teenagers and get them more Uh you know motivated into like okay especially high school because you know those women are going on the next level is college we want to get more you know women graduated and and career oriented that's an awesome point that you brought up because people already try honestly speaking yes i go to the things and i love these things because like i said i'm trying to build my brand once again but at the same time it's a business you know you can make a whopping 300 dollars out of one person just by telling them hey yeah, the biggest whatever musician or the biggest PR maven is about to give you the deets that nobody can tell you in school, the things that you can't learn from a book, the hands-on experience, and some free breakfast, and some mimosas, and you're paying $300 to sit there. Maybe more, maybe less. And I'm actually, <laughs> I don't want to, you know, say too much before my eggs hatch, but I actually, that's one of my ideas to take this, to take my blog and my brand and just really turn it into something where I can help people. Because I was talking to a friend of mine and I was like, I always feel like I have friends that gravitate toward me that I always end up being the big sister. I'm a big sister in real life. I have younger siblings. Um, I'm the oldest and I always have people gravitate towards me that I didn't have the same family structure I did or didn't have positive role models, even like in-laws and girlfriends and stuff that come, you know, come through the family and come through my friends. And I just feel like I always want to help somebody out because that's the type of person my mom raised. And I do want to do that. I want to go around to schools. I want to start like a program where we do talk 
especially to middle school and high schoolers. Because I know my friends and I were lost. <laughs> and it's scary. I mean, it's lost. not scary, but it's a good thing when you talk about middle schoolers. Because honestly, these middle schoolers are, they're very uh, advanced. Advanced. And because when I was in middle school, I wasn't thinking about, you know, anything but hanging out with my friends or playing, you know, right. being a child. But now these middle schoolers, high schoolers are acting damn near like my age. And I'm 36. So I'm like... We we definitely need to, and I mean, some of these celebrities, honestly, you guys, you have so much, you know, motivation, so much power, power. <laughs> I mean, that's scary to power, think, but right. yeah, a lot of these celebrities have so much power. I mean, they should be in the schools talking to the high schoolers because you know that these girls are going to listen to you and it should be more on a positive note. And I mean... It's crazy as it is. I mean, I really, some of these reality, you know, stars, I don't, I don't know. It, I couldn't see a Mimi walking into a, st- a school and I'm supposed to take you serious. You but know? see, that's, that's, you that's, know, no, see, she had off the, the shower. Yeah, she, time. she was, but if you ever, that's what I mean. Like, no, we can't say stuff like that and then no, go back on our word and be like, yeah, but this hoe is slut. She has, you, sometimes you can't, I'm learning, you cannot, like I said, it's a lot of people that have broken upbringings and they can't help where they came from. That is very true. For example, my girlfriend is in love with dysfunction. That's why she acts and makes decisions the way that she does because guess what? She grew up in dysfunction right. her whole life and some people can't get out of that no matter, you know, who's trying to mentor them. Some people do. Right. But somebody like her, I watched Mimi Foss story and she came from dysfunction and it's sad to say, yes, yeah, she's 30, 40 something, 30 something or whatever like that. That's all she knows. So she still can't carry herself. But at the end of the day, she's still an awesome mom. I'll follow her on social media. She still does what she has to do to provide that. She does make some dumb mistakes, some dumb decisions. But like I said, you can't discredit for... Some of the changes she made. Jocelyn Hernandez. Wild and crazy. Wild and crazy. But she's better in herself just a little bit. Can't take that away from her. I'm sorry. Amber Rose trying to make a better a better life for herself. I'm not sitting here trying to have a save the whole fest and yay. Let's, you know, praise them. But you can't discredit progression. The, the examples that you just gave, I'm waiting for the progression. I'm ready for the. I'm waiting for the change. I don't know. I'm Amber just, Rose is not on social media I, as just, much as she used to be. I'm gonna just sit my teeth. She's not on. <laughs> she's not on social media like she used to be. It, um, you know, she's the, trying to make businesses for herself. Like I said, I just wish that you know more women would. It's all come a together, brand, come and I'm not together. saying I know these people personally, but it's all a brand. If of you course. start to follow them, because I did have questions about certain people, like, okay, where the hell black China come from? But people don't know she has a college degree and she has a cosmetology degree certificate, which makes her certified to be selling eyelashes, have a whole goddamn shop, and sell lipsticks and everything. She's certified to do these things. The rapper Trina, all she did when she came out was talk about sex and other stuff. She has a college degree and she has a damn certificate to be a real estate agent if she did not want to rap. That's very good. I mean, it's like, all a brand. It's no, no, I mean, it's, it's nothing against those women. I just wish that they would portray themselves a, a slightly different. I because agree with honestly, that. They just can't. Honestly, They're no too one, deep in. Honestly, for you, since you admire these people of course you're going to try to do more background checks on it but let's get real these young girls they're not doing background checks they're not seeing what they used to do and how they you know went from nothing what how no, they went from the bottom to the top you know mm-hmm. <laughs> but they're not going to do that so it's like you know you have this influence on these girls and it's not even young girls it's like young girls older women you have this influence on them so i'm like you should present yourself a, a, a slightly different. I'm not saying that you got to come turn into Mother Teresa and read <laughs> Bible scriptures and, you know, Sunday church, Wednesday church. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is, like, just be a lot 
cautious, cautious yeah. of how you present yourself because you know for a fact, even though you're not signing up to be a role model or try to empower women, you're on the TV, you're on these social media. These girls are looking at you. They want to do whatever you're doing. I mean, hell, look at Kylie Jenner. That That's a business. There. They have it there. Nobody even knew about a, a Kylie Jenner. I mean, yeah, we saw her. You know, she was one of the background singers. And then all of a sudden, she came from the back to the front. And everybody is doing ridiculous things what? to be like Kylie Jenner. And Kylie Jenner ain't even got juice. I mean, she has juice now. But she is nothing like her her older sisters, Kim because and Chloe. Exactly. And all of but them. at the same time. That's where I agree with everything you said. It starts with us and what I always say. I'm not a psych major. I'm a communications major, but I did take psych. It starts in the family. What I just said, if you have an upbringing, she had an upbringing where her mom just made money off her sister. She is every last one of their managers. Yes. AKA momagers. So it was like, okay, the fastest way I can make money not by going to school, not by doing my own little thing. I'm not going to play lacrosse or tennis. I'm about to be an Instagram model. And that's what she did. Like, it comes from the home and it comes from people like us. And I'm happy um, that we have ideas because I really actually want to go out and I want to start doing stuff because you're right. They do look at these celebrities before they look at us. Because I know I'm 24 and some of my friends, I know deep down they look at me like I'm boring as hell. Because I don't feel the need to have to turn up or pop a molly or do all these ridiculousness. Mm -hmm. I'd rather go have cocktails with my friends, <laughs> with my older friends. I always hang out with older people. Yes. You know, my we aunt was my fr my very first best friend. And she's she's older than me. She's a couple of years older than me. But her and her friends were always my friends. And so that's just what I choose to do. And I've always had a mom to keep me in check. I never had to go and that wild. And talking about mothers, that's and that's another thing. These parents, these mothers, these parents' mothers, they're getting younger and younger. They want to be best and friends. They want to be best friends. They want to, you know, let's, you know, you're my best friend. I'm sorry. I, I'm a mother of twin boys, and I tell them I'm not your friend. I'm your mother. I'm here to guide you, direct you, right. get you on your right path. I'm not here to hang out with you and be your bestie. None of that. And that's another thing that it comes, like you were saying, comes from home. The woman empowerment, you shouldn't have to go out. You should be empowered by your mother. Right. Your, your aunties. Your aunties. <laughs> your sister. And, you know, sisters. Hell, little sister, big sister. Because sometimes, even you being the older sister... You can flub up. Right. And you get, you know, your younger sister can screw right. you in I'm some ways. All, right. Because my, my little sister does. And I always, my girlfriend always asks, like, why are you so hard on yourself? I'm hard on myself because of my sisters. Because if they don't only have to look at my mom, they have me to look at next. And I used to watch them and everything. And my sisters came out great. <laughs> Come on. But, I mean, everybody's human, but at the same time. You you have to watch out what you do, and like you said, you shouldn't have to go out. And I feel like kind of history is repeating itself, because our parents' parents didn't talk about stuff. They didn't talk about the gay stuff, quote unquote. They didn't talk about pregnancy and sex. And I feel like yeah, we're talking about it with our friends, and we're talking about it in songs, but nobody at home is talking about it with each other to make sure everybody is protected and make sure everybody is safe and confident. And when somebody, you know, when our kids and sisters and nieces and stuff come to you and tell them, tell you certain things like, oh, I don't feel pretty or, oh, I'm being bullied. I feel like you should take that into account because women empowerment, like Ryan says, starts at home. We need to talk to each other and empower each other and uplift each other and stop disregarding each other's feelings and... And you if know, you're going to have these movement, these, these, these lunches, these brunches, brunches these gatherings, cocktails. Let, I mean, really, really empower these women, really, uh, give them the confidence to walk out that door and start their careers or just hell, have a better life. Right. You know, feel better <laughs> about themselves. It doesn't necessarily have to be, you know, career oriented. It just make them feel better about 
you know, their life in the direction that they're going. And your struggle. Please tell. I like when people tell their struggle because when they don't, they think that they're getting instant gratification. Just like, oh, let me just start my boutique and then I'm going to just be popping. No, you need to tell them the real. But, uh, guys, we're running out of time. And I thank you so much for tuning in tonight. Uh, we're just sitting here having tea talk. See you next week. Bye. Bye-bye. Yeah, we got it.